This video outlines a method to quickly polar align the star adventurer in the Southern Hemisphere. Finding the Sigma Octans asterism in the Star Adventurer Polar Scope can be a challenge to patients, knees, neck and back. However, with a bit of advanced preparation, there is an easy way to do it. You can even get a pretty good polar alignment in daytime, even before Sigma Octans becomes visible. You will need a compass app or a traditional hiking compass, a GPS app, and I suggest a homemade tilt meter. I'll start with the tilt meter. The tilt adjustment scale on the Star Adventurer Equatorial Wedge is rather coarse and can leave you with lots of sky to search up and down to find Sigma Octans. So here I have two pieces of plywood glued and screwed together with brass non-magnetic screws. To make the tilt meter I simply printed a protractor scale onto paper and glued it onto the face of the plywood square with the base. The indicator needle is just a heavy gauge copper wire hammered flat at one end and drilled to accept a brass screw. Make sure to level the tripod, then slip your tilt meter into the equatorial wedge and point the wedge roughly south. Use a smartphone GPS app to tell you the latitude of your setup location. Then adjust the equatorial wedge adjustment screw until your tilt meter reads the same tilt from vertical as your latitude. Now lock the tilt lever. Unfortunately a compass aligned with the south magnetic pole will not also point to the south celestial pole. One reason for this is magnetic declination. The magnetic field lines around the Earth deviate quite a bit, depending upon your location, from the expected straight line between the North and South Poles. However, if you know the magnitude of this deviation for your setup location, you can make a simple offset adjustment to have your compass indicate the direction to the South Celestial Pole. I suggest you Google the website magnetic-declination.com. Find your setup location and click the map. Here in Brisbane, the site shows the North Magnetic Pole is offset by 11 degrees and 1 minute east of the Celestial North Pole. Just round the offset to the nearest degree or half degree. So I can adjust the north pointer of my hiking compass 11 degrees to the east or right. But just remember at this stage we are adjusting the north pointing end of the compass. So this now means if I place my compass along the side of the non-magnetic tilt meter, I can tell if the adventurer equatorial wedge is pointing at the south celestial pole. All I need to do is rotate the wedge until the compass needle points to the north and south magnetic poles, and then the body of the compass and the adventurer equatorial head is now pointing at the south celestial pole. If you need to do a polar alignment in daylight, this is as close as you're probably going to get. If you wait until sundown, you should find the Sigma Octans asterism in the field of view of the Adventurer Polar Scope. You can then make the final adjustment in a few seconds. So, save yourself the frustration of weaving the Adventurer Polar Scope around the sky to find Sigma Octans. Make yourself a little tilt meter and you can be polar aligned in no time. Best of luck with your Star Adventurer astrophotography.